Oh, wow. All I can say is just, oh, wow. This is going to be a fun day right here. As you see it, you see it. We got LaFroyd on deck for review. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to start right here. We got LaFroyd 10-year cash strength. This is the batch 13, bottled in January of 2021. Cash strength sitting at 57.9%. Um, I got that one. I want to do that review for you. And you see that here's the bottle of it. A little specs on 10 year. But in addition to that, I also just recently picked up on a trip. I picked up this right here, LaFore Cartridge. This is the 2022 uh, edition. So this current year, warehouse number one. Um, this one is bottled at 52.2%. And this one right here, uh, this is a warehouse where I guess they keep the, the whiskey. This one right here is going to be uh, first field bourbon. And this is obviously a first field bourbon as well. This one cartridge is, uh, should be in uh, the first field bourbon should be a maker's mark uh, barrel. So the cartridge this year should maker's mark barrel first field bourbon. And this is the bottle right here. Warehouse number one just recently picked this one up. 2022. And here's the back of it. In case you wanted to read if you don't have the bottle. You see it's on the back too. Uh, exclusively matured and first fill makers mark bourbon cast solely aged in our landmark warehouse that proudly bears our name here's the specs if you want to read a little further down you can just uh pause the video you can take a quick look at it but this is it right here so they're both first fill bourbon so we got the 10-year cash strength versus the cartridge on deck for review let's get it hey baby we're back at it again another hot review trims on as promised today, we had the Lafroy Cautious and we had the Lafroy 10 year cash strength going side by side up in here. Now, the reason for this review is I recently picked up the cartridge uh, last week. I was in, uh, uh, what was it, uh, Disney World. I went to a Total Wines. I got this along with uh, um, the Class Azul Guerrero. It was a lot of nice finds there, yeah, a lot of nice finds. So I was like, you know what, let me go and do this review because it's current. This is this year. So this is. This year's release is the um, warehouse number one, um, first fill bourbon, uh, bottle at fifty-two point two percent. This is this is last year's uh, twenty twenty-one uh, January. That is of twenty twenty-one um, batch thirteen for the actual uh, cash track ten year. So the regular ten year is a, is a staple of a lot of people's. Um, if you if you like if you're into Peter whiskeys, people love the Arbeck ten. They love the Lafroy ten year. The basic 10 year, I, th I want to say, is it 43%, something like that, maybe? And this is over 10, this is like 10% higher here. So, um, this is the cash strength. And so, I, I personally, well, actually, more than I'm sorry, this is 57.9%. Uh, so, this is like, you know, 15, 16% higher. So, I actually like higher proofs. Um, so, I, I would try to get as many cautions as I did. I just recently did a review of the Lafori Cautions 2020, which was the port and wine. I had the last year's. Uh, which is the PX, which I have actually have uh, right here. Here's the, I just did, recently did the review not too long ago. This is last year, 2021, cartridge cash strength for the uh, PX. I actually have two bottles of these. So now I'm doing 2022, which is this one. And uh, they're both first fill bourbon, but the difference is this is uh, 10 years. This is non-age stated. Um, I don't know, it could be, and you can see the color difference. This is definitely lighter. This is a very light color. This is non-chill filtered. And both of them should be. Uh, and this one right here is a little bit darker. It's almost like a medium amber. And this is a very light color, very light. So, so the age definitely is, you know, is the darker whiskey. Um, so we have age here. As, excuse me. We have age here. And we also have the cartridge here. So it's kind of like, you know, um, which one is better? This, this cartridge, I think I paid like one, what was it? Maybe you say one, almost $110, maybe. The retail, it, it may vary. I think that it goes from anywhere from like maybe 90 to 130 in that ballpark. I was kind of in the middle. Um, this uh, Lafroy uh, tenure I got last year. And I think I want to say I paid around 90 bucks for it, maybe 80, 90 bucks in that ballpark. So this one was a little bit more expensive, at least what I paid for it for. And in general, I think the cartridges are usually around 100 or so. The cash strength, depending upon where you live at, it could be almost a hundred dollars too, but this one is just shy of that. So, be it as it may, I'm gonna do both of them side by side and give you my thoughts and opinions. So, I'm gonna start right here with the cartridge, and then I'm gonna to go to the ten year. So, 
Um, as I said earlier, very light color, very light. So on the nose, Off top, the nose is, is not as heavily pitted as, as like the classic 10 year, or even we're gonna get to this in a second. So you definitely get the peat and smoke, but it's not like er, uh, you know, like like a lot, a lot of Freud's. You get the peat, but it's not quite as heavy. Get the campfire ash, like rubber, band-aid, kind of get the salt medicinal kind of smell to it. Classic Lafroy, obviously. Then you get just a little bit of the saltiness, you get the like a lemon on here, a little oak on here. But the prevalent things is the, is the medicinal ash, like I said, the campfire, the rubber, salt. Those that's heavy on here. You get like I said, a little lemon on zest on there, a little oak on here. Very nice. Like I said, I like Peter whiskey. I would say this one is not. It is, I don't really pick up much meat on it. There's certain. Um, um, Peated spirits, like in particular, uh, like the Ugadol by Arbe, that has a very meaty smell, like a fresh barbecue. Like, like if you cook some ribs on the grill and you put it off an hour ago, you you put it, you open up the hatch to smell it, you get that meaty smell. It's not much meaty on on the nose, at least. You get you get you get you get the smoke and you get the ash, but you don't. It's just not a meaty character to this stuff. More ashy and rubbery. But I still like it either one, but, but I like the meaty character slightly more though, a little bit more. But anyway, without further ado, let's take this first sip and see what we got. Cheers. Mm. All right now. Mm. First peep of the day. Definitely get the campfire ash on that. Rubber and ash, right up on, right up in here. Mm -hmm. Take one more quick step, so I can further saturate my palate for you. So I'll put a couple drops of water in there. I think a lot of times when you have a higher proof in peated whiskey, sometimes water can help. You, uh, sometimes can add flavors, unlock a little bit extra flavors. But anyway, but on those first two sips, heavy campfire ash, rubber, you get a little bit of that salt, that uh, lemon zest, a lot of minerals on here, like a like a dried thyme, sage on here as well. Um, other than lemon, I'm not picking up any fruits, at least on my palate. But heavy campfire ash, smoke, brine, like that, like I said, that that herbal kind of note to it, that mint, that sage, orange, I'm not sorry, orange, I'm sorry, uh, lemon. You get all that, and then you get a little bit of oak on there, too. There's a little bit of oak. But when you first put it in there, that the earth, that earthiness of that, that like the, the mint, that ash, and the, and the smoke, that's, those are the three prevalent things. And then as it swirls around, you go down, so I get a little bit of the oak, a little bit of that lemon as right as it going down the hatch. All in all, it's a classic, you know what I'm saying, uh Lafroy kind of you know notes. Like I said, you get you heavy on like it's not the most smokiest, uh peatiest Lafroy I've tried. Obviously, if you ever had the lore, the, or well, we'll get to that in, in like a 10 cash strength, those tend to obviously tend to be more peated. But there's still a very decent amount of smoke on it. Very decent. I mean, you get the classic with Freud. Um, like I said, it has first fill um, uh, maker's mark on here. I don't pick up as many, at least on my other than the oak. And you, I get just a small, small uh, smidgen of vanilla, but it's so faint. So I don't really pick up like the, any caramel on there. You know, so, uh, I, you know, so some of those bourbon notes, I'm, I'm not picking up heavy on here. I just pick up more of, like I said, the campfire ash. You get the, uh, the that earthy notes to it, uh, the mint, and then obviously the, the uh, lemon. But I did, as you saw, I put several drops of water in here. So as I talked that out, I kind of gave, gave it a little time to kind of open up just a little bit before I take this next sip. But I don't want to make this too long. Sometimes when I start sipping some good whiskeys, I make my videos long. I don't want to 
do that. So I'm trying to uh, so shorten it a little bit. So anyway, hopefully a couple of drops. A couple of guys said a couple of drops of water may help you know open this one up a little bit more. So hopefully um, we'll, we'll see if it unlocks anything different. So take this quick. Now this is with water. So this is this set. Let's see what we got. Tell you the truth, it has some similarities to without water. I think the one thing the difference is the ash kind of dies out a little bit. You still get the ash, but it's not as heavy. You get more of that that um, the lemon and the brine shine a little bit more with the water, and the ash takes a small, small hint step back. So, but everything else is the same. So it's, basically, I'm not tasting any new flavors. It's just more of one, less of the other. That's what I'm picking up. That makes sense. So, um, one more quick sip. I'm gonna score this for you. Okay. More of the same, like, you, like I said, a little bit more of that lemon, a little bit more of that brine, but you still get the ash, you get, still get the oak, still get that, that rubber, that mint, like a band aid kind of medicinal notes to it. Uh, like I said, classic Lafroy, more of the same, but no, no meaty characters to it. It's not like super fruity or really, I don't really pick up any fruit other than the lemon, really. So, um, Oh, no, like I said, man, it's classic before. This is one of those spirits that, you know, uh, I'm in the, you have to be, in the, I'm in the mood for a certain time. Certain times I just want a, a nice peated, you know, uh, whiskey. And this definitely fits the bill in that. So uh, I definitely like it. Um, but like I said, it's something, you know, it's one of those times where you're in the mood for it. Oh, no, I like it. I enjoy it. This is, this goes back, like I said, last couple of cartridges have been more of the sweeter side with the port and wine and with the uh, PX. So this takes it back more to the, you know, traditional first field bourbon, more uh, heavier on the peat than the last couple of editions, per se. Those are more on the sweeter side. All in all, it's very good. Um, if I had to rate this cartridge, uh, Warehouse 1, 1 out of the 10, 10 being the best for me, Drams on deck. Um, on, like I said, when, I, when I'm rating this, just, just for clarification purposes, I'm only rating this against peated whiskey. So I'm not going to rate this against non-peated whiskeys or, you know, uh, sherry whiskey because it's a totally different taste profile. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rate this against other contemporary peated whiskeys. So one of the 10, 10 being the best for me, Drams on Deck, this right here, uh, I give this a 7.75 out of a 10, just shy of an 8. Uh, 7 and 3 quarters out of a 10, I like it, I enjoy it. Uh, I really, I like it. Like I said, man, I just wish I had a little bit more of the, I at least on my palate, I wish I tasted a little bit more of the bourbon notes. Um, I like the campfire ash. Uh, I love the, the, my most favorite peat is the peat that has some sweetness to it. I, I, obviously, if it's a peat, you know, like mixed with sherry or something like that, for example. But I also like the peat that has a meaty character to it. This one is not really meaty, it's just ashy. And I like I like both. I like both, but I like the meatier character more. So anyway, um, it's a good solid one. Um, I like it. Um, obviously, I, I probably prefer the PX last year more than this because I just, like I said, I like the sweetened peats. So that's just my taste for it. But some people who don't like, if you do not into sweetness, if you, do, you like the straight heavy, um campfire ash and not so much sweet and this is more this is definitely going to be to your liking i like it and i like it too um so anyway seven seven five out of a ten uh for the cartridge warehouse number one 2022 let me take one quick sip of water in my beanies cup and then i'm gonna jump right here on lafroy 10 uh cash strength from last year so as i said earlier the, the twin years uh is darker let's just see what we have on his nose Now, I, I get this has been airing out a little bit more, so I'm still picking up campfire ash. I'm picking up some sweet oak on here, vanilla, medicinal notes as well. Not as much as the other one, but I get like a like a like a briny character as well, obviously. So sea salt, smoke, ash, rubber, sweet oak, vanilla. 
that's what I pick up on here. Um, not a lot of uh, like fruity notes on the nose at least, but let's see what we have on the palate. Cheers. Okay. As always, I'd like to take two sips. So I can really indulge into the notes. When I take two sips, that second sip really gets deeper in for me. It lingers more when I take it like almost back to back. So I can do that for you. One more, one quick sip. I'm gonna add a little bit of water too. Now, this one is 10 years, so it has more time in the barrel. And this showed because it, even when I took the sip, I saw the, the walls dripping. So this is a little bit more oily, a little bit more viscous, slightly more. It's 10 years old, so this is not an age state and it's not 10 years. So just right off the bat, you pick up more of that bourbon notes on this one because like I said, it's been spent more time in the barrel. I get more vanilla on here. I get the oak on here. This one tastes definitely, like I said, you, you can definitely taste that oak vanilla and that bourbon more on this one than I do on that one. I like it. And it's more creamy. So when I roll it around, it coats my palate a little bit more than that one does. Um, you get the campfire ash still. I get a little bit of, um, like I said, those herbal notes. But um, this one's more of like a nutmeg and allspice on this one here. You get a little bit of that brine as well. I think the major difference is that you get more bourbon notes. The bourbon notes meaning, like I said, the, the vanilla. Um, this is a small smidge of the honey, but not heavy. You get the vanilla and the sweet oak more on this one than that one. So that's the major difference. You get similar notes, uh, but I think, like I said, because it was more aged you, and it, it spent more time in the barrel, though, like the notes mixing with the first fill, you get that, like I said, the vanilla when the sweet oak comes to, to the forefront a lot more than that one, you still, like I said. And it's, it's, it's like half and half. So you get the sweet oak, vanilla, then you get the you know campfire ash, burnt rubber, smoke, you know what I'm saying? Those those, um, those medicinal notes, like the brine as well. So I, I, I enjoy both of them. Um, but this one, I, I probably would say I like a little bit more off the top. So I had, I had a couple drops of water in here. So let's take a quick sip with the water and then I'm gonna score it for you. More the same. I don't even know if I put enough water in it, but it's almost 60%. But more the same. I don't want to pick a major difference right there. One thing I may say is that it's not quite as hot, but I've been sipping, so and yeah, I do pick up slightly just a little bit more linger on the brine, on the brine though, on the salt and brine. With the water it seems to linger a little bit more. I'll get more brine on the finish. Right now I downed it. I pick up I, right now it was linger on my palate. It's brine number one. Campfire Ash number two. Those are two notes I get right now lingering on my palate. I downed this thing about 30 seconds ago. So, all in all, still good. I very, I like them both. Um, but like I said, I think the age shows his, his tail a little bit more because it's more creamy, more viscous. So it seems to coat my palate better. And when it coats it, I'm picking up that the bourbon notes more. So that the vanilla, that sweet oak, that brine, the herbal note, I'm picking that up a little bit more. And like I said, I didn't really pick up any van very, very faint vanilla, but but here, more heavier than the vanilla and sweet oak, definitely. You definitely pick up the sweet oak and the vanilla more on this one. Like I said, it's 10 years. So all in all, I like the 10-year cash strength better than I do the cartridge. I like them both. They're both, they're, they're both solid. I, I mean, I enjoy this one just the same. But this one, in my opinion, the 10-year cash strength, I think is a, is, a, is better on, on all around. I think it's a little bit better dram for me. That's just my terrible taste. They're both first field bourbons, but obviously the age is, is showing it more. So maybe that's not quite a fair fight because it's 10 years and this is not. I don't know the age statement of it, but I would imagine maybe five to seven at best. Um, 
at best. So both solid dreams, though. I like them both, man. If I had to write this 10-year uh, batch 13 uh, cash strain from Lafroy, uh, I would give this one right here one of a 10, 10 being the best for me to have one deck. Um, mm. I give this a, a 8 to 5, so 8 and a quarter out of a 10. Um, I like this one. It has a little bit, it has more balance to me. Like I said, age definitely helps. And, and so I gave this one a 775. I give this one a 825. So it's about a half a point higher. I like this a little bit more. Um, like I said, age helps it out. So um, have some similarities, but like I said, the, the bourbon note stands out more with the sweet oak vanilla. So like them both, but this one's in my opinion, the 10 year, third, batch 13 is better than the cartridge uh, 2022, in my opinion. Both solid drams though, first fill. Classic Lafroids, both are more PD than, you know, like I said, this is more PD than the uh, previous uh, two years of the cartridge. So, and the 10-year cash chain, we already know it's going to come with P regardless. So, that's standard. But anyway, I hope you got some out there to review. If you're in the aisle and you have a, uh, you know, if you, have, if you have to be one of the few people that actually have an opportunity to get the cartridge and the cash chain, I would say get them both. But if you had to choose one, knowing what I know now, um... I think the 10 year is cheaper and I think it's better because you get the age factor on this one. And I think that it's more PD too. So if you, you know, it, it's just my opinion, but I like, I like, I, to me, I think that the 10 year cash strength versus the, I'm only talking about this card. I'm not talking about all cartridges, but just this year's cartridges. I, and then keep in mind, this is batch 13. If you got a batch 12 or 14 or even a 10, I don't know. I haven't had those. This is the only 10 year cash strength of Freud that I've ever had the privilege of tasting. So I cannot speak from first hand of any other 10 year cash strength. Some, obviously something's gonna be different. So um, I'm gonna speak for the 13, cause that's the only one I've had. Um, so uh, maybe if you, maybe you're in a store and at your store they got a 14, which is a more current one, or they got the, the 12 or whatever, maybe look at reviewers that did those and, and match their take on it versus what you prefer, you know, vice versa. So hope you got some out of it. Hope you enjoyed the review. If you did hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Likes and subscribes are for free y'all. And also hit me in the comment this, uh, box. Let me know your opinions, your thoughts on your on your Lafroids or your if you had the cartridge, you had the ten year cash rate, not just the thirteen, but any other one. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on that because I really want to know what you guys think. I enjoy interacting with you guys. That truly makes my this particular process fun for me when we all interact. So please let me know your thoughts. Always just hit me up and let me know what you're thinking. Um, but yeah, man, I, li I like them both, man. But I think the ten year ten year cash rate is, is is the winner for me. Um, so we also, I have a cash app Patreon. If you do choose support, make a small donation, even if it's $3, $5, that's cool too. I really appreciate that as well. Hope you enjoy the content. Hope it's helpful. Hope if you're in the aisle, if you never had it, these reviews can help you as when I first started, that's what helped me because a lot of times if you were to buy a hundred dollar bottle of whiskey and none of your friends have had it, you don't know what it's going to taste like. So you look at reviews or articles of it to see if it's going to, if this is what you like to drink. So hopefully these reviews is helpful. That's the purpose of it for me. One of the purposes. So. But all in all, I enjoy it. Also, I have a, a, a Instagram page. So I have a lot of my bottles in my collection on the Instagram page, in addition to a couple of reviews in there. So please, if you're a, a subscriber or a viewer of me, please, uh, on, your, on your free time, you can check out my Instagram page. If there's something that you want to see that I have yet to review, um, you can ask and put a request in for that particular bottle. So I have a lot of them that I haven't even reviewed yet. So anyway, all in all, hope you enjoyed it, man. Stay safe out there. Hope everyone joined this summer. Um, and hey, Stay tuned. A lot more hot reviews coming your way. Drams on deck. Yes, sir.